Each day, spring comes closer and closer, giving the West Virginia Department of Transportation Division of Highways a chance to fix roads in Marion County. Mike Roncone, Marion County Highway Administrator, said the late March snowstorms have delayed crews from working on the roads. Relatively, uh, uh, as of late, we just started getting the plants to open up and, and uh, provide us with some hot mix. As we get the majority of our hot mix out of Clarksburg. So they're open now, and uh, we're, we're starting to fill potholes. Hopefully we'll have them done by fall when the plants close. That's the best I could tell you. Right now we're about a month behind. As of last year at this time, uh, I, I want to say that the plants opened up earlier than they have this year. We were opened up in March, uh, or the plants were opened up in March, so we were able to patch. Of course, during the winter we do get a little bit of cold mix just to try and, and, and fill some of the deeper holes on the main roads, but uh, right now we are behind and we're going to be playing catch up for quite some time. Roads like Route 250, Route 19, County Road 310, and County Road 218 are priorities for Ron Cone's crew to fix because of the heavy traffic that travels on them. Those are your main priorities, although we extend it a little bit more because of the amount of traffic that's in the area right now. Uh, uh, 17 running from Reesville to uh, uh, Fairview. We also uh, are trying to handle a lot of the, the uh, heavy truck traffic on 33 going up over the mountains. So yeah, that's those are primarily the routes that we hit. Ron Cohn said there are some roads in Marion County that are notorious for having the same problem every year in the same places. You're, you're going to have the the same roads are going to have the same holes year in and year out because a lot of these roads don't see sunlight. And if you don't have sunlight to dry that road out a little bit, that moisture is going to stay underneath of the road. So as you keep having freezing and thawing, that's what's going to push that pothole back out. Um, we see this on 250 coming in from Mannington into Fairmont. Uh, that's a notorious area. Uh, 17 between uh, Grantown and Fairview. Uh, out there, those roads just, they don't, they don't see sunlight and it hurts them. Uh, so yeah, there's always a lot of potholes out there. While driving through a construction zone, motorists should slow down and be cautious while passing road crews. Ron Cohn said sometimes there may only be a few workers, but drivers should still take it slow. Yeah, and be very, very cautious because what we're actually trying to do out there, uh, you know, if we're on a stretch of road that uh, we can send a couple guys out in a truck just to fill like one or two holes. Uh, it's quicker than to set up a whole crew of people with signs. It's only going to take us a few minutes to fill that hole. Um, other than that, this could be a very, very long process. Uh, you know, sometimes we have to try and do things a little bit quicker, and, and I don't want to say that it's not safe, but I want to say that, that uh, if you see a truck out there with yellow lights, flashing we're out there to try and fix the road you know we're not trying to slow you down all we want to do is get the road repaired so that you have a safe uh, road to, to drive on that's the main goal of the division of highways ron Cohn said crews will be working now until fall for the times west virginian i'm emily gallagher